Hi everyone, it's Clyde, the guy from Vibrant Soap, and today I'm making a soap that I've, I've never used this fragrance before. It's called Warm Vanilla and Sugar Type, and I'm really curious about it because I've heard other people talk about it. The only thing that I hesitated on is that, you know, the fragrances that have vanillin in it will turn the soap brown or caramel color in this case, and I thought, you know, I can deal with the caramel color. Uh, I'll just have to plan some colors around it. So I picked a color scheme that's kind of bright to make up for the areas that are going to be scented with this fragrance. And um, hopefully I'll be able to show you how the color change affects the color scheme uh, at the end of this video too. Uh, I also am always inspired by something that I look at. And in this case, because I wanted to match the colors with the fragrance of the soap, it's kind of a sweet kind of mm, but mellow scent to it. Um, but it made me think of cotton candy. And so those are the bright colors that I'm going to be using. So I looked at one of the paintings that I did. Uh, you're familiar with my logo. Well, this was the uh, painting, the original painting that I got my logo from. And in this area right here, I have the pink and blue. And when I think of um, cotton candy, I think of um, the vibrant light blue and the pink uh, in that candy. So I thought, I'm going to pattern my soap with those colors with the addition of white to brighten up and make up for the fact that parts of the soap are going to turn brown. So let's get started with that and I'll show you what I mean on the color wheel first. Okay, so just like I did in my Mango Lime Sublime soap that I talked about triads, I'm also going to do that same kind of color scheme but with different colors just to show that you can use um, the color wheel for different selection of colors. If you remember, I used the purple, green, and orange for that, and you can see this equilateral triangles talk pointing at the uh, purple, green, and orange, but I'm going to turn this so that it's pointing to the red, blue, and yellow, and as you know, those are the primary colors, um, but I'll show you by just putting those colors uh, basically pure on my paper here that it's a very, um, what do I say, um, primary or kind of the easiest color scheme that you can come up with. And it's not, you know, very sophisticated, but it's bright and cheery. And these are the colors that you can make all the other colors from, for the most part. One day I'll talk about um, pigments and uh, minerals and things like that where you get different kinds of colors that you sometimes have a hard time getting by mixing um, the primary colors. And that's um, a bit bright. I mean, that that's like you would paint a clown's costume with that. Um, my idea of um, the primaries is to um, use the color of the soap itself. I know that the um, browning effect of the vanilla in this soap is going to turn the soap a pale yellow they said caramel so it's going to be a little probably orange in that too in other words it's basically an off-white but it has some yellow in it so that's going to be still in this triad color scheme um, taking the place of the yellow the red that I'm going to use is more of um, more of a reddish purple. So you see what I'm doing is I'm using the color wheel to come up with a color scheme, but I'm changing each one of the three. And you don't have to do it this way. I'm just trying to talk about color in such a way that you can kind of make sense of some of the things that you're doing naturally and always want to know you know really what's going on. Um, the other thing I'm going to do, and I've got to get some more white out of my tube. The other thing I'm going to do is put some white down because my blue in this case is going to be a real light, almost baby blue. And because the primary colors are really bright, even though I've toned these down, um, it's still going to be a bright, kind of cheery look to it. Um, 
better fix this blue a little bit. It's hard to get that blue with paints. Yeah, it's somewhat like this. No accents on this one because it's pretty bright already, but I am going to have white as a highlight in a small amount. And so again, you can see how these colors are related to each other. They're um, basically tints. And so if you look again at the Mango Lime Sublime, you'll see that basically I did the same thing, but with a different triad. So let's get on with the soap making. So once again, you've seen me do all this blending stuff before, so I'll just kind of fast forward through a lot of it. But a lot of new people checking in want to see what's up. So I'm just blending my um, sugar, water, oils, distilled water, clays, and clodial oatmeal. And I can blend all I want here because the lye is not in it yet, so it's worth making sure that everything is well mixed here. Get the lye in there. And I'm anticipating that this um, vanilla sugar fragrance is going to brown the soap a bit, so I am going to do my colors accordingly. So I have a majority of my so better um, is going to have the fragrance in it. That's the part that's going to turn a caramel like color, caramel color. If it just stays at caramel color, I'm not going to worry so much. But I put very little of the fragrance in the colors I want to be bright. This is my bright pink. This is going to be my pink with some white in it. My blue. And finally my white. The white has no fragrance in it because I want it to stay very white. Let's get a good amount of the plain batter that's going to turn caramel color in. Followed by my lighter pink because if it's going to turn a little darker, I want a light color in that for contrast. Followed by some blue. And I'm glad it's staying very liquid because I want really fine swirls. Let's go for some darker pink. white. I do see some bubbles in here so I'm going to stir those out and get the rest of this main part in there. And it's only now starting to thicken so this is just working out perfectly. of it in there, starting with my light pink again. Keep some for the top. Dark pink. Blue. the white. Now I'm going to get pour from closer to the soap so that it stays on top. And 
Men the blue. And finally the white. I always say that I'm going to just leave things as they are without swirling the top, and I re kind of really mean it this time. I like the way that it looks as it is. So um, I'm going to leave you here and say thanks for watching this part, and stay tuned for the cutting. Just wanted to tell you that I added some glitter to this, and now let's see what this looks like all cut. Okay, let's cut sweet as sugar. See how that turned out. I can't wait to see how the drop swirls worked out. A lot of definition in there. The main batter part of this is supposed to turn like a caramel color. So I kept that in consideration when I thought about the drop swirls. So I imagine a, a base of a darker soap color around those bright white, blue, and reds and pinks would still look nice. I'm just having a lot of fun designing, thinking about what the next soap will be, and really get inspiration from the fragrance. And if I don't have an idea, I generally go to bed thinking about that. And the, by the time I wake up in the morning, I have a, an idea of what I want to do. I don't know if any of you design things like that, but just the power of sleep is pretty amazing. Well, this fragrance is really good. It's very um, vanilla-y and sweet. I think they use a touch of musk in it also. And that was my last cut. So there you go. And this has been the making and cutting of Sweet as Sugar. And I'm already planning my next soap, so stick around for that in the days to come. Thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for your subscriptions and your comments and um, visiting my website at vibrantsoap.com. And we'll see you all later. Okay, bye. So it's been about a week since I cut this soap, Swedish Sugar, and you can see that the base color is turning this caramel-like color, caramel, caramel, I don't know what you say, but I say caramel, and um, it's really a delicious smelling soap, so that it has that caramel-like color in it, I'm, um, I'm happy. And you can see um, that it's going to change the definition of the colors and if it gets any darker, which it probably will, the brighter colors will probably stand out even more. But I am um, happy with the design of the soap and I'm glad that I included the white because um, it does add a richer highlight the more this other area turns brown. So there you have it and I wanted you to see it after uh, about a week of uh, curing and it'll probably turn a little bit darker after that. And that's it. We'll see you later. Bye everyone.